श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओं सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीर्जंकवाहै तेजस्वी भावधी तमस्तु मिद्विषावै ओं शाति 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 वासुदेवेन्द्रयोगींद्रम न्वान प्रदम गुरु मुमुक्षूना हिता तत्वबोधो विधीय नमस्कार नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू so let's uh, let's chant this next uh, q and a by uh, by the author um who's uh, so ashutosh are you ready can we yes okay <clears throat> so we are doing atma is the question here okay. atma kah आत्मा कह स्थूल सूक्ष्म स्थूल सूक्ष्म कारण शरीरात कारण शरीरात व्यतिरिक्त व्यतिरिक्त या एवरीबॉडी एल्स आल्सो कैन रिपीट सो ओनली वन ऑफ देम इज One of you is unmuted. Pancha kosha ti ta ha san. Pancha kosha ti ta ha san. Avastha traya sakshi. Avastha traya sakshi. Avastha traya sakshi. Yeah. All of you, all of you, unmute yourself except Prashantosh. All of you, I mean, mute yourself except Prashantosh. Yeah, if everybody unmutes, there can be a problem. So we are trying to minimize that feedback. Sachida Nanda Swarupa San. Sachida Nanda Swarupa San. Yes, Tishthati. यस तिष्ठति स आत्मा स आत्मा ओके सो द स्टूडेंट इज आस्किंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आत्मा कहा and the teacher is giving an answer a long answer is given 
and before this we understood what satyam and mithya are that is kind of where we are <clears throat> satyam that which exists independent of anything else that whose existence does not depend on anything is satyam that whose existence depends on somebody else something else is mithya mithya has a dependent reality satyam's existence is independent therefore you can say satyam is self existent so now these words become more meaningful to us self existent mithya has parts satyam cannot have parts okay we are beginning to appreciate that mithya has to be put together intelligently put together all this we have been seeing <clears throat> so the student asks atma kaha so we saw first of all why there is this atma i mean the satyam mithya confusion and that that confusion is recognized in our dharma only only the vedas recognizes that confusion and points it out because we don't see it in other religions other religions don't talk about it so we can infer without reading the bible and without reading the other texts we can infer nobody is teaching this nobody is talking about it even though if, if the books were given to us we may interpret them slightly differently so word of god in the beginning there was word and the word was god or something they say we have a beautiful way of interpreting it but that is different so i take myself to be the body body is mithya and the properties of this mithya i take as my properties i am short i am tall i am sick i am sick so i went to the doctor yesterday 3 days back i fell from my two wheeler so some bruises on the right side of the body and i checked myself up and uh, so no bones were broken i thought and uh, so i left two days passed and then again this pain was there in the rib area i couldn't take a shower bath properly also so then i decided i went to go to the doctor yesterday he looked at me and this that x ray and all that so potential some hairline fracture in the bottom of the rib so i am sick that's how we say but the vedanta says okay the body's nature is like this illness health all this is there but really who are you you can't be sickness you can't call yourself sick okay as a manner of speaking i can say i am not well i have to take rest all that okay but atma cannot become sick if atma becomes sick then there is then all hope we have is lost <laughs> thank god atma cannot be sick atma is just a sakshi avastha tre sakshi so this confusion we said this is connected to being self conscious anybody who is self conscious alone can have this confusion we saw the cow and the dog don't seem to have any problems they don't seem to go to psychiatrists and psychologists and swamis and pour their problems out we don't see that happening so we can assume that the dog and the cow even though they are slightly self conscious that's it beyond that they they can't make judgments about themselves that's the key self conscious leading to self judgment this is what we are talking about go ahead and mute yourself uh, surendra ji <clears throat> so that self consciousness 
<clears throat> creates this problem in me, <clears throat> creates the confusion in me, and we are saying this confusion, therefore, is universal to all human beings. This is where this universality comes. Sometimes when they say Sanatana Dharma is universal and all they talk about. Hey, universal means what do you mean by that? Hey, Ganesha is personal to me. Other religions, people, they don't worship Ganesha. How you can say Ganesha is universal? Saraswati, I worship. Lakshana Murti, I worship. I have a particular way of worshipping gods. That's all peculiar to us, to Hindus. So how can you say Sanatana Dharma is universal? None of this is universal. No Christian or a Muslim enters a temple. Come on, what are you talking? So that universality when they talk about, where does it come from? It comes from this Vedanta. Because, we, because the problem is universal, the solution it talks about has to be universal. That is the universality of this Vedanta Shastram. And if that is the context, we can say, hey, Vedanta, what it talks about is universal. Because it addresses a problem that is universal. That much universality we can attribute to our Shastra. <clears throat> so, so we, we now understand. Once we understand the problem, then amazing things happen. Because we understand it's universal and we begin to understand what the Shastram starts talk, saying. So, if the problem is not understood, then we go round and round in circles. In science and research, we know this very well. The smart person, the scientist is one who asks the right question. Correct? We have heard it so many times. Who asks the right question? And the right question will lead you to the right place. Same thing here also. If the problem is crystal clear to me, then every word of the Shastram just begins to make sense, make sense, and I can keep going on this journey. Why I'm saying this? If the problem is not clear, then somehow we get into this track that I have to go somewhere in order to be happy. Swarga Loka, I have to go. This world cannot make me happy. Somebody said, this world is full of sorrow. It can't make you happy. You can't live happily. Little bit happiness you will get and it comes and goes. Somebody says. And I believe that because that is my experience also. <laughs> Universal experience. Therefore, universally we buy these kinds of arguments. And I go on a track, a different track. So very important that we understand the problem properly. So Swamiji had once uh, given a talk somewhere in Bangalore or something long ago, 25 years ago. And the title of his talk was Psychology has no solution. Vedanta has no problem. This was the title of the talk. So I said, my God, I mean, I didn't understand it at that time. But later on, I said, oh, my, this is, this is Satyam. So that must be the, that must be how our understanding must be. So even if I don't, if I'm part of this journey, I'm learning, I'm studying. A lot of new concepts we are beginning to study. But the problem can be clearer and clearer. Yes. I can say I am beginning to understand, but I am clear about the problem. The problem is that I have made a mistake about myself and about the world. That is the problem. Therefore, the solution has to be removal of ignorance. 
the problem is i have made an assumption wrong assumption about a siddha vishaya something that is already there moksha is already accomplished this has to be siddha vishaya has to be understood then the solution just shows up it cannot but show up okay now back to this confusion we said satyam and mithya are so intricately tied up the table seems to be just inseparable from the wood that is true table is inseparable from the wood and the wave is inseparable from the water the pen is inseparable from its parts and yet we are saying there is a difference between water and wave please understand the difference that's what the shastram says and so the shastram has to point out the shastram has some methodologies whenever there is a confusion of this nature we need a trick we need a method to to point out this confusion and this methodology in sanskrit is called prakriya prakriya means a method prakriya means generally a method any prakriya is called a method a derivation if you do a derivation in mathematics it's called a prakriya if you study panini grammar then panini grammar if you study every sanskrit word will be derived from its roots so that will be that's called a prakriya vyutpatti prakriya derivation method of deriving like this we have done so many derivations methods are all there teaching children a technique is needed good teachers are those who understand the child psychology and then very good at communicating so good that the teach the children just come alive and the teaching happens so she or he uses a technique technique i should i mean maybe it is simply put technique but it involves so much so here there is something called prakriya and the author by answering the student's question atma kaha indicates these three prakriyas first one is sharira traya prakriya second one is panchakosha prakriya he mentions that and the third one he mentions is <coughs> avastha traya prakriya so these are the three main prakriyas and one more prakriya we will cover later on is karana karya prakriya cause effect prakriya method okay so what is this sharira traya prakriya i have confused myself to be this body as good as this body so sthula shariram sthula means gross gross body this external features of this body i have taken as myself i have taken the myself to be the feelings in my mind my thoughts so i have taken to be the mind sukshma shariram the subtle body and i have taken myself to be i am i say i am ignorant not only i am ignorant of things then i make a conclusion that i am myself i am ignorant i am subject to karma all these ideas we have so that is called karana shariram sthula shariram sukshma shariram karana shariram we are going to the that student is going to ask the question later on stool shariram kim is going to say next okay so he is the student is not going to leave the teacher so now what we are talking is just some basic understanding of these words 
because later on we will cover stool sharira actual definition will come so for now stool sharira means gross body sukshma sharira means the subtle mind related thoughts feelings ownership look at that ownership i did this i am an engineer i am the project manager of the sardar patel statue in gujarat i did it so this i ahankara is there that strong notion of i so sukshma sharira visheshaha and then karana sharira some more subtle things such as i am ignorant etc that that association i have with these three shariras these three types of bodies i have so therefore the teacher now says sthula sukshma karana sharirat vyatirikta vyatirikta atma is different from this sthula sukshma karana shariram so that means in a way the in the culture there is some understanding see a teacher cannot give an answer even though these words are new still the words are not new the student probably understands the words thulam you know we use it in our language it is there we don't may may, may not use it every day but thulam if you say most people will have an idea oh stulam means big stulam means something solid like that so here grass body and then pancha kosha titah so when the same stula sukshma karana shariram is expressed in the form of experience we will see that shortly then you get this pancha kosha and so the teacher says pancha kosha titah other than the five koshas kosha so popular translation of kosha is a cover a sheath there many books will translate this kosha as a sheath s h e a t h sheath you know we don't use that word sheath in normal english i have not used it anyway somehow they say sheath apparently there is a word in english called sheath so looks like a covering atma seems to be covered by these 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 experiences therefore called kosha but really there is no cover we will see that shortly but for now tentatively okay some covering is there five types of covering pancha kosha titah then our experience is divided in another way and that is waking state sleeping state and dream state three states of experience there cannot be another state of experience for us we should either be in a waking state a sleep state or a dream state which is in between waking and sleep sleep means deep sleep three states so avastha trayam avastha trayam means literal translation is three avasthas three states of experience so avastha trayat vit pratirikta that is the way to read that avastha trayat vyatirikta other than this three states of experience is atma okay <clears throat> So now back to sthula sukshma karana sharirat vyatirikta <clears throat> the water is different from wave the wood is different from table 
okay what is the relationship between uh, water and wave it's the same relationship as the one between the table and wood wood is satyam table is mithya water is satyam wave is mithya so we are told that water is other than wave okay so here he says atma is other than the body he says he doesn't say body is other than atma he doesn't say that so why is that this is what we are trying to understand now water is other than wave but wave is not other than water okay so we are now beginning to understand it slightly differently not different also wave depends on its existence for water depends on water for its existence water does not depend on wave for its existence therefore we say wave is water why wave is water you analyze any part of the wave the top part of the wave you touch and taste is salty ocean water the bottom part of the wave is also water when you touch wave you have to touch water you can't touch wave without touching water therefore wave is water water is not wave water is not wave why water is not wave if water is wave then what will happen wherever there is water there has to be wave that experience is not there for us when the rain is pouring we don't say the waves are coming towards me run away nobody says that we run away from this tsunami and all this uh, you know this floods and storms happening in tamil nadu right now a lot of destruction has happened so i saw a video somebody sent and the kanyakumari the waves are just coming like this my god and two people were there and they were just running from there so wave means you have to run away from the wave so thankfully water is not wave water can take on the form of a wave if water is wave then when i shed tears i will be drowned in those waves thankfully water is not wave and water doesn't bother me and we can drink water etc if the water is wave then i pour a glass of water and who just waves so <laughs> we don't have these kinds of problems so water is not wave so remember this very well mithya is satyam satyam is not mithya okay mithya is satyam satyam is not mithya <clears throat> another example here is an actor who is playing various roles actor playing various roles actor a is playing the role of a let's say actor is a wealthy guy so he has he is playing a role of a beggar b beggar means in india we say beggar in us they say homeless i don't see the word you beggar used in india in us so here we we can use sometimes we use the word beggar one who begs but actor a plays the role of beggar b this is the example now tell me so i see this a amitabh bachchan a playing beggar role b and uh, action is going on lights on action 
and then he acts. And he is playing a fantastic role. He is acting so well. And uh, everything is going on. Sir, 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 sir. To somebody he says, sir. Somebody else he will say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fantastic action. But this actor knows very well that I am not a beggar. I am the great Amitabh A. I am A, actor A. And uh, I am going to be richer after finishing this acting. That also is there. So this fellow is a is an embodiment of Ananda. This fellow is Purna. And I am not beggar. I am actor. That is the knowledge this person has. So, remember, act here therefore, beggar is actor. Beggar is actor because there is no beggar without actor. Whole, whole sharira, whole body, whole action, whole talk, everything which makes you see a beggar in front of you is all nothing but action and it's all sustained by actor A. Every part of this beggar is actor A. Therefore, beggar is actor. Father is me. Son is me. Brother is me. L Landlord is me. Tenant is me. Employee is me. But I am not employee. I am not son. I am not father. I am not tenant. I am not citizen. I am not any role I have given to myself. Think about it. Look at where Vedanta is taking us. One little example is so important for us to take us this far. Because I am not father, I can play so many roles other than father. Otherwise, I am stuck with I am father. And father means I can't be brother, I can't be son. I am father because I am father. And I must be the father of everybody also, if I am father, correct? That also is not true. Therefore, father is just a role. I say just a role, just like that. Father is a role, important role. Brother is an important role. So we are able to play so many roles in life because we are not any of those roles. B is A, A is not B. Beggar is actor, actor is not B. Table is wood, wood is not table. Wave is water, water is not wave. <clears throat> so therefore here, when the, here, wave is other than water. Water is not, I mean, sorry, water is other than wave. Because water is independent of being wave. But wave is water. Wave is not other than water. Wave's existence depends completely on water. That is why the author does not say, this sharira is different from atma. The author says, atma is other than sharira. Sharirat vyatiriktaha. Other than the sharira is atma. Okay. So therefore, the, our idea of Satyam is handy now. Satyam is like that. Satyam is other than Mithya. Mithya is dependent on Satyam, not other than Satyam. This much we must understand here. <clears throat> so, here is another question. <clears throat> 
the student is asking atma kaha and the teacher is saying sthula sukshma karana sharirat vyatirikta atma is not any of these three bodies is the answer given so somebody says uh, uh, somebody says uh, what is uh, so what is kambu dosa here they will give you something called kambu dosa so kambu dosa is a type of dosa so this person knows all about dosas this person knows all about the breakfast item stiffen items in india being served he knows dosa is not idli so when i answer that question i can't say dosa is not idli dosa is not apple dosa is not banana dosa is not water kambu dosa is not water now if i say like this this fellow will run away from me that's another thing if you want somebody to run away from you you can change the language you can come you can become a vedanti you can practice all this <laughs> and they will just run away from you because you are so tired of this guy and he constantly bothers you just just apply this technique okay so you can't give this kind of answer to somebody who says what is kambu dosa a kambu is a type of grain that is available like wheat and they make dosa with it and that is kambu dosa or he understands he may not know what kambu is you will come to know later but kambu dosa is there the topic can shift what is kambu that we can shift so that is the answer expected when somebody says what is this but here jal he is not giving a definition of atma he is saying uh, other than shariratrayam other than avasthatrayam other than panchakosha atita this neighbor is there family and the small kutti girl comes and says uncle we are going we are going out this evening uh, yeah really Where are you going? We are going out to get a get a walker for my grandmother. We are going to get a walker for my for my grandmother. That much she knows. Ah, I see. Okay. Then she suddenly asks, Uncle, what is walker? So she doesn't know what walker is. Very honest, very innocent question is there. What is walker? then this very enlightened uncle says walker is not pot walker is not watch you know watch water walker is not watch you know fan yes walker is not fan you know light yes walker is not light like this he starts speaking and after a while this girl says uncle i know all that i know walker is not pot and walker is not fan she she is so honest she admits she is tired she says i know all that uncle don't tell me all this tell me what walker is i want to know what walker is then this uncle so called uncle see in india it's so beautiful everybody is an uncle everybody is an aunty everybody is an anna everybody is akka and beautiful its life is so great and we just bond with each other very quickly <clears throat> in america i didn't even know who was my neighbor <clears throat> 30 years i lived so many neighbors were there and uh, we life just went like that <clears throat> so then this uncle says look preeti look remember these small babies when they grow up when they walk when they are learning to walk see you are able to run back and forth but when you are smaller you are able to stand up you are just able to walk holding on to the wall you used to walk remember yes yes i remember hey that time have you ever seen 
where they give you a little thing to hold on to which has a couple of wheels at the bottom and you hold on and the child keeps holding on and walking on that yes i know what i know that that is called a walker oh that is a walker yes that's a walker is your grandmother able to stand up and walk properly no she is not able to do that if you think you give this walker to her she can walk better yes i think so she can walk by herself that is called a walker ha ah, walker i know and then suddenly she runs away that's it over so enlightened she has become so that is what she is expecting she is not expecting some funny indirect answers <coughs> but here an indirect answer is being given atma kaha so why in the case of this preeti who who is asking a question she doesn't know anything about walker doesn't know anything she even the word is new to her just recently at the home she has heard it and she just repeats that word repeats that word without knowing children are beautiful they will just repeat the word and yes yes we are going we are going and uh, we are going to buy this and she knows nothing about what what they are going to buy whom they are going to meet nothing and uh, sometimes you ask them did you go in a plane yes ah the plane what happened how do how is the plane oh you know the plane will you know it pushes and air it pushes the air lifts the plane and there is lot of pressure and this that so like that they will start talking 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 without really fully understanding what it is because they are just repeating what somebody else said so here this girl does not know anything about walker and so now when then the person has a chance to explain what a walker is describe the features of a walker and ho gaya kaam ho gaya finished walker understood but here when it comes to atma i can't say i don't know what atma is i keep saying i did this i did that i this i am sad i am this i am tall i am sick i am healthy i am happy this i is there very much atma is very much there i do know atma but i also don't know atma there is so much confusion about atma so whenever there is a confusion about something you have to use negation the technique is negation negation means pointing to something you think something about and say no that thing is not what you are thinking it is so like there was a program yesterday and lot of speakers were there on the stage one after the other they were speaking on and on it went on and somebody comes to me later on and says the mayor spoke very well he was very articulate then i understood oh he doesn't know who the mayor is because he just said he spoke very well the mayor he spoke very well he was articulate then i realized hey the mayor is a lady and so he doesn't know who the mayor is he is thinking somebody is the mayor while it is not correct so now i have to now my ball is in my court as as they say ball is in my court and i have to tell him who the mayor is how to say this if there is something very obvious about the mayor i can say but so many ladies also spoke i can't say the only lady who spoke is the mayor also i can't say 
So I have to say, hey, remember this this person who spoke, who sang? Yeah, she is not the mayor. The person you are talking about is not the mayor. Hey, remember the guy who gave a lot of data about our city? Yes, she is not the mayor. Hey, remember the lady who said so, so much about our community and our what we did and what we did not do, we should do and all that. Yes, yes, I remember that. She is not the mayor. So, elimination going on. So, finally, I come to the mayor and you know this, this lady that who said ABC, this is the mayor. Ah, that is the mayor. So, first eliminate, eliminate, eliminate Karo. Then the problem is easier to grasp. And then the Vastu Satyam reveals itself. Okay. So, same. So, that is, that is the idea here. When I am confused about something, then a negation is called for. When I am confused about something, a method using negation is called for. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so I uh, uh, stopped the video of Venkateshan Ji because uh, I suddenly saw he was drinking coffee and all that. <clears throat> anyway, so when back to the topic here, suddenly mind went to coffee. Ah, wouldn't it be nice to have a cup of coffee? Yeah, be nice. So, uh, confusion necessitates negation. Prasakta nishedaha. So, a context, a situation where it's all muddied up, mixed up situation, there you have to use negation. So, the Shastra has to negate all the ideas I have. The Shastra says, you think you are a mortal? Yes, I am a mortal. You are not mortal. Stula, Sukshma, Karana, Sharirat, Gatiriktaha. What else? I am not mortal. Okay. But, uh, but I am always depressed. I am sad. I am... Oh, you are sad? Okay. Then here is news for you. We will take care of your sadness. Don't worry. That will do. But, Sukshma Sharirat Vyatirektaha. You are other than the mind. Great, I am other than the mind. Then I think I am ignorant. I think I am subject to karma, loss of karma, etc. Punyam, papam, all these things. Well, by the way, yes, that may be true. Yes, that is true also. But Atma has no punyam and papam. Really speaking, you are not subject to punyam and papam. Therefore, Karana Sharirat Vyatirektaha Atma. <clears throat> okay. So, this is what is being said in this, uh, in this statement. So, here uh, Swamiji gives an example. I think... Uh, I also feel like sharing it with you. So here is a wave. <clears throat> In the Pacific Ocean, there is a wave. And the wave is afraid and the wave says, I am bored with my life. See, the wave is not interesting. But you must give this wave a human mind. Human mind must be given to this wave. Then only drama begins. Otherwise, kuch drama nahi hai life mein. 
And so the wave is specific ocean wave is given a human mind. And then the wave starts talking. And so hello, you say, yeah, kya baat hai? Yeah, I don't know. It's just the very boring. I don't know, I'm confused. I why are you confused? Why are you like this? Kya, I just got a new job. And one year over, and I thought the job was good. But there is no job satisfaction. Kyo, what happened? Yeah, this boss is just, he doesn't understand anything. He keeps shouting at me. Shouting at everybody. So I'm just, just uh, tired of this. Okay, so bosses will change. So something else will work out. Sometime later, just put up with it for a while. No, nah, I don't know. Sab, ghar mein, you know, children are not listening to me, and it's all, it's all crazy. How's how's uh, so? What happened? How are they doing? No, that's it. They have gone. They they don't listen to me at all. They whenever they see me, they even go away. They run away from me. And so there is no communication. So I don't know. It's all. So I am depressed. I don't know. So yeah, you have to take care of all these things. You can't simply wash away your responsibilities. Are you being responsible? Yeah, I am being responsible. And uh, I am trying my best, etc. Okay. Then, then I think you need to, you need to meet somebody. You you go to Indian Ocean. You go to Indian Ocean. What? Yeah, yeah. You go to Indian Ocean. There, there you will meet somebody and uh, talk to that person. Really? Indian Ocean? Indian Ocean? Yeah, okay. I will go to Indian Ocean. So this wave took off from the Pacific Ocean. And Lagatar, Kada Kada, keeps on going, 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 going. And wave is very good at traveling because it has been in the ocean. It can handle ocean, even if it is so big. So it finally reaches Indian Ocean. And Indian Ocean, and then it makes the call, Hey, I'm, I'm there in Indian Ocean. Yeah, what is all this funny? People are there here. Yeah, yeah, people will be funny there, but you be there. That is where... Mal par hai. And what should I do now? Ah, go and ask for some, you know, look around. Look around these people, wear some unique dresses and they have unique looks and sometimes they have a long beard also. Go talk to them. And so this wave looked around, looked around and came, came to this one part of the Indian Ocean and uh, met this person and said, are you Indian Ocean Wave? Yes, I'm Indian Ocean Wave. I have a lot of problems in life. Yeah, everybody has a lot of problems in life. You're not unique. No, no, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm confused. Huh, you're confused, what about? Now, what is this? I mean, I sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not good. Sometimes I feel okay, sometimes I don't feel okay. Something is wrong. I think I'm, I, I'm just not following. I feel a little lost. Ah, okay. You feel a little lost. That is fine. That's natural. Yeah, but I don't want to be that natural. Get that natural feeling of sadness and depression. Ah, so, so by the way, are you Guru Wave? Uh, I don't know. People call me Guru Wave, yeah. Some people call me Guru Wave. Ah, okay, then you only have to tell me all this. Tell me what is it's all about. I know I'm confused. So the Guru Wave says, okay. 
you are confused so you think you are small correct yes i am very small i am just i don't like this yeah so you are a wave and yeah the wave is small but tell me what about water what about water yeah what about water hey is wave same as water is water same as wave no no wave is wave is different water is somewhat different so are you water or are you wave no i am confused don't ask me all these questions you tell me straight away what what are you talking about a wave is a form of water you are really wave water every part of you is water that is why you can take on the role of a wave you can take on the role of a neighbor you can take on the role of father mother etc how can wave how can if you are wave then how can you be something else you can be droplet you can be so much the wave can die but can water ever die yes that is true that is true i am afraid of my life but yeah the wave has a limited life it has a birth it has a death but no water cannot have birth and death yes yes i got it i got it thank you guru guru i thank you very much i am now free i am now free because i have understood i am water and playing a role of a wave taking on the form of a wave so i have taken on taken on the attributes of the wave to myself really it is not true so i am now clear so this wave has to be enlightened with certain facts about itself and so this self conscious confused wave begins to appreciate the reality so like that like that satyam and mithya is appreciated the wave has to be told that you are other than you are other than the qualities of the wave sthula sukshma karana sharirat vyatirikta this sadness you are talking about job satisfaction you are talking about yeah you have to deal with that but you are other than the mind sukshma sharirat vyatirikta like that the author is now telling us and that's a typical way in our shastram you may have heard neti neti if you have heard neti that means na iti na iti that means if i say i am small na i am big na i am useless na i am subject to sorrow na sa so, na iti na iti like that so the shastram negates all my ideas about myself and that is the prakriya that is being introduced here which we will continue again in the next class <clears throat> स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य पिपालयता मगेण महीं महिषा गोब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्तु निोका समस्ता सुखिनो काले वर्षतु पर्जन्य
पृथ्वी सस्यशालिनी देशो यम क्षोभ रहिता ब्राह्मण सन्तु निर्भया ओं सर्वे सुखि सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कचि दुख भाग भवे असतो मद्गमय तमसो मोतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओं पूर्ण मद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं